As the sun rose over Hunterdon County, New Jersey, on December 14, 2008, Mike Helbing and his followers set out on another hike. All right, let's go for a hike. This hike featured some of the trails and parks Mike himself helps to build and maintain as a county parks department employee. After setting out from Mountain Farm, the route planned for the day included passing through the Teetertown Nature Preserve's Crystal Springs section, a relatively new addition to the Hunterdon County Parks Department, walking along the Muskinatong River, flowing fast on this day, and taking in the beautiful yet slightly frozen scenery of the Micoquin Woods. This hike held true to the theme of exploration that has become so common on Helbing hikes. You never know what wonders you'll come across in the middle of the woods. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Aww. don't tell me you're sticking your hand down there. Uh, that was not necessary, Jason. No. It's not an outhouse. It was. No. I'm sure someone shat in it at some time or another. Okay, but I'm sure someone shat right over there at some time or another. It's been rained on so many times it's clean. Go ahead and use it, Jason. <laughs> From there, the group made the difficult ascent up Point Mountain. Mike Helbing explains the view. What you're looking at, though, in front of the Black Hong Ridge, in the background there, behind this front one, County House Mountain, West Oxford Mountain, Montana Mountain, Scotch Mountain. The one that's shaped like a camel hump there is Mount No More, and you'll see a flat line right behind it. That's the Kittatinny Ridge. It's barely visible, but if you look really closely on the left-hand side here, uh, or the west side of, of Mount Nomore, you can see a slight dip. That's Mount Tammany at the Water Gap. But this would be one of my favorite spots in the world right here, so. I can see why. Yeah. But what truly distinguished this hike was the number of animals encountered along the way. The animals ranged from the domestic variety The bovine oh, come back. Waterfowl. A puppy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could, you could Isn't he the most it. mallow puppy in the world? Is he yours? Yeah. What's his name? Well, he's Mikey, my roommate's. His name's Mikey. A fawn. And the animal highlight of the day, Nigerian dwarf goats. Hello, kids. Hey, Here's buddies. <laughs> yes, you're my kid. No, you're not my favorite. <laughs> They're cute. <laughs> this is in Rome, Scotland. Oh, yeah, no, I was going to say Scotland. Wales, I used to you know, find this sheep everywhere I went. <laughs> Just waited until they left. You guys are pretty cool, aren't you? Cheap butts. What's a dog when you got this? <laughs> Mowing your lawn for you. Saying hi when you come home. <laughs> Just don't get hit by a carpet. <laughs> They're really young ones, right? 
Um, okay, back to your house. <laughs> I will lead them to Go freedom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Watch the ice behind you, Craig. Go home, guys. Come back on. Like a, back like a dog. <laughs> oh, wow. Come on. Oh, that's naughty. <laughs> Go, on. Go on. This way. Come on. Go on. This way. Me. 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 Okay. Get away from me. Quick. Hurry. Get away. Oh, the owners. Here come the back. owners. You're <laughs> off. Don't know if they'll stay, but everyone, I, tell, I tell you what. <laughs> They're too much fun. Jason the shepherd. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Really close together. Car coming! Oh, let him come out! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is too friendly. Yeah, that was a They started following us up the road. Oh my goodness! They have a Are they special breeders? They're Nigerian dwarfs. Two boys, two girls. They are cool. They're eight months old. Okay. Do they get much bigger? Or is that a little bit bigger? That's, Not that's much more. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. cuter than they're as cute as they can possibly be. Yeah. Okay, I think we got them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. Good luck. Good luck. Good See ya. Thanks. With the buzz provided from the goats still fresh in everyone's mind, the group stopped to have a little winter time. Oh, well, hold here. Look. Oh. <laughs> For the final act, the Helbing hikers encountered something they can never resist to explore, an abandoned building. This structure was a mill of some kind in a state of slight disrepair. Holy crap. What? Stay away from this. Yeah, that's, this whole thing could come collapsing down any time. I would recommend not climbing around on it. Yeah. I put a little bit of weight on this wall and it started shifting. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, well, Tom just had a piece of the, the, the layering above the, the door come in on him. Looks like more, someone tried to firm it up, though. Oh. It's difficult to pinpoint the exact draw of the abandoned building. Perhaps it is the romantic notion of a once thriving factory now sitting idle, remnants of the beginning of the industrial age. Or it could be the architecture that seems so removed from the cookie cutter structures that now rule the landscape. Even more likely is the simple fun that exploring the unusual provides. Throw in a little heightened danger and you have the makings of a perfect activity. That is a perfect activity for people who go on helping hikes. This particular abandoned mill was the last activity on this day. And the sun set on another day spent entirely hiking.